<sighs> Another day on the beautiful Angel Island. Whoa, whoa! Amy! Slow down! Amy, you know you're not supposed to be running around all by yourself. It's dangerous out here. Why are you out here anyway? Are you looking for Sonic? <sighs> well, even still, you shouldn't be going out here alone. You could get yourself hurt if you're not prepared. You never know what's out here. All right, all right. Well, if you want to catch up with Sonic so badly, you're going to need to know a thing or two. Why don't I show you the ropes? With the Sonic 3 Air Amy Galore mod, you'll be able to re-experience the zones of Angel Island as our beloved Pink Hedgehog, now with many customizable options and abilities without replacing any of the other characters. Whether you're a casual fan of the series or a seasoned veteran looking to spice up your playstyle, there's something for everyone to enjoy with this gift to Amy fans everywhere we call Amy Galore. Let's go over some of the brand new features, as well as the many ways you can reach your top speed in this episode of... Speed Strats! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Amy! Who gave you that hammer? Hey, get back here! As you may already know, Amy Galore features 9 different movesets, with 18 total abilities, and tons of ability styles which you can customize to your heart's content. Let's go over them one by one. First off, the Origins and Superstars movesets, as seen in Sonic Origins and Sonic Superstars. With these abilities, Amy charges up into a spin, landing on the ground to smash through obstacles with her Pico Pico Hammer. With the Origins variant, Amy will charge up and land with a burst of speed, moving left and right instantaneously on the ground. In contrast, the Sonic Superstars variant will get a double jump, with the cost of no speed boost on rushing. Use her double jump to reach high up places. On a related note, did you know that Amy Galore features the most accurate version of the Origins moveset? Yeah, mm-hmm, she does. Here's a quick comparison to Amy's appearance in Sonic Origins. Next up, the Troop Sushi movesets, named after one of the creators of the wonderful Amy Mania mod. With this moveset, you can smash enemies from the ground using Amy's standing hammer attack, and soar through the skies at high speed using Amy's hammer glide, or heli hammer. In addition, holding up and jumping will allow you to leap much higher than usual. Use this extra height to make quick work of tough levels. In the Galore Style variant, Amy will descend much faster than she does in the Mania variant, but in return, gains more control over her high jump. Release the button mid-air to cancel your upwards momentum. And if that wasn't enough, Amy also receives the Hop ability, originally from Sonic Advance. But you may notice that the Hop is a little different this time. That's because this version of the Hop is dependent on your current speed. Use it on inclines or at high velocity to launch yourself across levels. But be careful, you are completely vulnerable in this state, so use it wisely. This one has been long awaited. Introducing the Anton Blast moveset. Inspired by the abilities seen in the in development game coming in November, Anton Blast! Thanks, Bonsai, very much appreciated. In this moveset, Amy will be able to charge into a spin, similar to the Origins moveset. However, upon hitting the ground, she'll be bounced up high with great speed, much like Anton in the much anticipated Anton Blast! Thank you, Bonsai! Pressing the button map for the actions while on the ground will cause Amy to perform an instant rush of speed. Chain together boosts to increase your speed exponentially. Be careful, much like in Anton Blast! Running into walls and objects will knock you back, putting an instant stop to your speed. When holding down and pressing the action button in mid-air, Amy will perform an expressive face slam, called an atomic bomb. Use this ability to smash down on enemies or fall down with great speed just like your old man. Ooh, ouch! Are you okay, Amy? This moveset is our representation of Anton Blast in our Amy experience. Did I mention I like Anton Blast? Oh, that does it, you little Oh, my Anton Blast monster! Why the f*** does all this f*** happen to me? Way, so
my life always surrounded by the whole world just like to bend me over and f me in the ass like I'm some kind of f Oh my god! Well, as far as I care, oh these miserable f***ing of a f***ing 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 with a f***ing 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 Where was I? Next up, we come to the CD-esque and CD Episode Metal movesets. You may already know Episode Metal from their entry in SHC 2021. Both movesets feature an accurate recreation of the Spin Dash from Sonic CD. Also, both movesets feature a double jump. With the Episode Metal moveset, Amy gets the Rosy Pop, a much weaker and vulnerable double jump. Whereas with CDS, you get the standard, normal double jump as you would expect. If you're having trouble with the Rosy Pop, consider switching. Next on the list, we have the Advanced Esque moveset, featured in the popular fan project Sonic 1 Forever. In this moveset, Amy is unable to roll or spin dash, instead having the super peel out by holding up and jumping while standing still. Amy is also able to boost herself forward with her hammer by pressing jump in midair or holding down and jumping while on the ground. Much like the galore styled hop, this also scales with your current velocity. Utilize it at high speeds to launch even further. As a bonus, holding up an action while in the air allows Amy to swing her hammer, boosting her upwards a little while also damaging enemies. Last but certainly not least, we have the Advanced moveset, as seen in the Sonic Advance series. With this moveset, Amy is also unable to roll or spin dash. Instead, she can swing her hammer in midair by pressing the action button. However, when pressing down in midair before using the action button, Amy will halt all horizontal velocity and descend to the ground with a heli hammer. Replacing the spin dash, Amy has a differently styled peel out by pressing up and spamming jump when on the ground. As stated before, Amy also has the hop here. When running or standing still, press down to enter a crouch, and then jump to enter a hop. The hop brings Amy straight to her max speed, so you won't have to spend time accelerating. However, you may find yourself in a bit of trouble if you end up hopping into an enemy. Don't worry though, by pressing any button while on a hop, Amy will slide into the floor, breaking any bad mix in the way. Jeez, it looks like it still hurts though. While on the ground, Amy can also perform a hammer attack by pressing the action button breaking monitors, badniks, and even walls. Holding down while pressing the action button will instead cause Amy to perform a high jump. While this isn't as effective as the one in the Troop Sushi moveset, it is still incredibly useful in gaining height. Whether it's dashing through rock walls with the Origins moveset, bouncing up high with the Anton Blast moveset, or leaping to new heights with the Troop Sushi moveset, there's something for everyone in this selection of abilities. to you, Amy. Are you feeling okay? You sick or anything? I'm sure she's fine. In Amy Galore, you can choose between three different sprite sets, all with their own animations for Amy's many abilities. Pick between the Sonic Origins sprites, made by A Plus Start, Sonic 3 sprites, made by E112PSI, Chelsea Catgirl, and Motoroach, and the Cartoon Animate 22 style sprite set, made by the creator of the same name. As a bonus, by using the SHC build of Amy Galore, you'll be able to access the Triple Trouble 16-bit sprite set, made by Eminerd and Joshi Flip. Each sprite style has new animations for all the abilities featured in Amy Galore, that all faithfully recreate the original style of each sprite. And to top it all off, there are other sprite options that allow you to tweak your character's style, such as Max Dash and Super Max Dash animations. What? Amy? What have I told you about playing with the face paint? You know it's Danger Quills. Hey, don't you run away from me! In addition to different sprite sets, Amy Glore also features a variety of custom palettes. There are many to choose from, such as this one based on the Tokyo Toy Show presentation of the first Sonic game. There are also options to alter the palette of Amy's Super and Hyper forms. Check out this one, based on Amy's Super Palette in Sonic Mania. It's a miracle! Amy, wait! <sighs> Who is that little guy? <gasps> is that a tiny Sonic plushie? 
Aww, it's so cute! Try not to lose it, okay? In addition to the many movesets and sprites featured in Amy Galore, there are also many fun extra features and experimental toggles. Flying buddies are these little flying friends that follow your player around, accompanying you on your journey through Angel Island. Choose between buddies such as Birdie, Metal Sonic, Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, and even Amy herself. Even some, uh, confusing options. I... um... What am I- Bye, Sonic Superstar! Having trouble picking a moveset? Why not give the moveset switcher a try? By using the L and R buttons, you can switch between any of the nine movesets at any time. Experiment with different abilities and see which ones suit you the best. Or select the randomized toggle to have your ability switch to a random one with a set interval. Spikes can be troublesome sometimes, but fear not! In the fun and experiments options, you can toggle spike breaking for specific abilities to smash through those pesky spikes with a quick swing of the hammer. Now those spikes will never see you coming! Uh, at least most of them. Whoa! Sick ride, Amy! Another option we decide to add is car mode. With this enabled, Amy's fastest run animation instead has her riding her iconic red car. We decided to add this feature just to give Amy a bit more personality, and definitely not because of any other reason. Hell, I think I saw a new Amy Galore update and said over there, where? Atomic <laughs> Ray! I said I was sorry. <coughs> if you've gotten bored of the old Angel Island intro, in Amy Galore, we have three intro styles for you to select, unique to her. One based on Sonic Origins, one based on Sonic's normal intro, and a completely new one, inspired by Sonic Mania. Replaying the first zone has never felt more refreshing. Oh, and... and... Violet, what are you doing? For those I looking to beat their feelings out into video. Knuckles, be sure to... Yeah... that... Why did we do this again? You may already be aware of the speedrun technique known as jump loops, where you jump at the 10 o'clock mark of a loop to gain an instant boost of speed. But did you know that Amy can perform an even more powerful version of this? Enter the loop as normal and activate a high jump at this point in the loop. This will give you a boost of speed going up the loop. From there, continue the jump loop as normal. Doing this will give you much more speed than you had coming in. However, mistiming your double jump loops will cause you to come to a complete stop, so be careful! This technique is much harder to perform than regular jump loops. Hopping with the advanced styled hop allows Amy to reach her running speed instantly, but this speed can also be increased by slopes. When hopping off of any slope, Amy will gain more momentum than usual, allowing her to reach a higher speed upon landing or clear large gaps. The steeper the slope, the stronger the hop. Springs can be useful for getting to high heights, but did you know that Amy has a way of making them even stronger? By using either the hammer swing, hammer attack, or the atomic bomb on a yellow spring, Amy will spring up much higher than usual. Use this boost to skip some tricky areas. When using the Troop Sushi Mania moveset, Amy's glide maintains her momentum, even when rolling off of slopes. You can take advantage of this by charging up a spin dash when on a slope, and releasing, immediately using her glide the second you're airborne. This trick can allow you to save a lot of speed, just make sure that there's nothing in the way. The Anton Blast Hammer Boost can be very powerful, especially when chaining many of them together. By timing your boost correctly, Amy will repeatedly increase in speed. Chaining 10 or more boosts together can allow Amy to blast through zones, so keep an eye out for good opportunities. One of the best zones to use this in is Ice Cap Zone Act 2. Of course, there are many other abilities and combinations that can create all new ways to speed through levels, so think outside the box and find new strategies to best your skills. Whoa, Amy! There you are! Here I thought I lost track of you for a second. Whew. You know, Amy, you may not be as fast as Sonic, but even still, you've gotten really skilled. You should consider becoming a professional runner. And that wraps things up for today. Stay fast, think quick, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of... Speed Strats! <laughs>